Hey guys. What's up? Welcome to another palette unboxing. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. So today we have for you an Amazon return palette from Southern Liquidation. Uh, we purchased this for $350. Uh, the expenses, because remember, if you've watched our vlogs, we went and picked these up ourselves. So I went ahead and split the cost of the trip among the three palettes that we purchased. Um, so I went ahead and this palette, we're just going to call the expenses $75, which puts us all in, in the garage for $425. Now, if you've watched our unboxings before, our goal is to double, which means that we want $850 to come out of this palette. Um, this is advertised an MSRP of like fifteen to two thousand dollars on there uh, so we'll see we've never done this before so this is gonna be something completely new for us So one thing we've learned about customer returns is you can expect a wide array of items. One, a lot of returns people buy online and they get a return, it's the wrong color, wrong size, all of those things, and they just send it back. Uh, places like Amazon make it extremely easy to be able to send stuff back. But you also find where people, they get it, they use it, it's just not what they expected, so they send it back. Or you get people that really use and abuse the item, and they send it back and then you have the old retail uh, fraud where they buy it and then send back a totally different item. This first box looks like some type of blow up inner tube thing. And uh, it's not a bad thing for right now though, as long no. as it's not broken. So, and this is something we don't really, it's an Intex. There's nothing on the box that shows a brand. And, uh, but Intex, if it works, we can probably get 10 bucks for it. Uh, but this is something that's gonna have to be inflated to test out. And do we want to spend that much time doing that? I don't know, but if we were, 10 bucks. Uh, ominous, unmarked box. I'll just grab that right off. Hmm. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes I like those pallets that have the cardboard around it. I know. It because it prevents people from, it prevents things from falling off. Um, but immediately, the box looks pretty good for a return. Um, you know, the, the past few that we did, we did a lot of shelf pulls, even though they were Amazon warehouse deals. But these, I have a different expectation of what they are because I know for a fact they have been purchased and returned. So, uh, this looks like a blanket. Uh, there is tape on here, this has been uh, cut, but there's nothing wrong with the blanket itself. So, could be just one of those things. It's like a fleece blanket. Yeah. Definitely been opened. Uh, you can see some dirt and stuff in there. This can be something that can be washed. We'll probably put it in our flea market booth just because of the size um, and weight. But uh, we could get oh, $10 from this. What you got? I got a uh, golf green, putty Ooh. green. We've sold a few of these before. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about this. It's not a high dollar item, but it sells pretty quick. Yeah. And then we got a Connect 4 big oh, I want game one. set. So I want one let's of those. take a look at it. Now with returns, we generally always check. Um, I know a lot of times, you know, in the spur of the moment, in the excitement of everything, we miss things but we do catch them uh, when we list them. But it's always good to do a quick check over so when we are listing, everything is not a complete surprise and so we can give a better idea of how much we can sell the item for. Oh, and it comes in a package. Yeah. I want it. The kids would love that. I wonder how much it costs though. Let's see. Okay. This is so, oh, it's cool looking. It's a little pain in the butt to get, there we go. Broken? Yeah. No. Doesn't look broken. So I've got that. Only problem is 
Are there any uh, pieces? I don't see the pieces. Oh, wait. Oh. Party fell! That sucks. Is there no pieces? No pieces. <gasps> yeah. That's messed up. It should have the pieces. So it looks like when they returned it, they did not send the pieces back with it. So, so that, I mean, can we even sell this? Maybe, you know, it may be something where we can maybe sell 10 bucks at the flea market booth, put it up there and then somebody crafty can uh, build out of like little wood things. Maybe something that we keep for the kids and we can have. Well, we can maybe order dad. replacement pieces. We're trying to order replacement pieces. Let's find out how much we lost on this though. So now we're just doing, we're using the Amazon app to scan the item. And uh, it's definitely supposed to come with the little red and blue things. It's a $55 item. It's a bummer, bummer, bummer. Uh, one thing we could do is reach out to them. They may have the little replacement sets of things that you can buy. There may be some that you can buy online. So for those people trying to do this for a living that you can reach out, try and get it. Uh, but for us, I'm gonna just call this $10 right now because I think we can get 10 bucks for this just as is. Three items in, all $10, and that looking real promising so far. I'm a little disappointed, but I've had palettes start off worse and get way better. So it may look weird right now, but I think, um, I'm trying to find out which one of these I can pull off without it falling off. Um, but I think that we can, we can still do well. So I'm not totally service. Ooh, hanging planters. This might have to stay at home um, if we can make some money. <laughs> One of those things where it's like, oh, I want, I want this, but I'm like, man, if it means that I don't get to profit, I have to sell it, you know. But uh, I like hanging planters. Oh yeah. Okay, look, well, these look good. Uh, how cute is that? Looks good. Okay, hold on. Let me see how much these are worth. They look, they look to be in good shape. Yep, I don't see nothing broken. No, no, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, for, you know, and that's one of those things I may, I may, when I'm listing it, uh, or, or, you know, when I bring it to the flea market booth, I may notice uh, something that I didn't notice. Okay, fifty two ninety nine. dollars Nice. Um, yeah, so I may notice something that I didn't notice before. Uh, I know a lot of you mentioned in a previous unboxing that those skinny pop popcorn peep that I was like, oh man, this is awesome. They were like, uh, that's expired. And I was like, yeah, I realized that when I was going to list it. Uh, so I did end up getting my snack. Um, so I'm trying to think, I guess these will be, I'm thinking probably I'm gonna try and sell them local just to avoid shipping and fees. Um, so I would put these at the flea market booth because I think that'll sell really well. And I think I'll sell them for 40 because uh, they're in great shape. It's a great time for this and gardening stuff sells really, really well. I think I can get 40 for these. What you looking at? I'm just looking. <laughs> Trying to see what's in there. So uh, let me get this one here. And uh, these you really, you can't guess what it is until you unbox Amazon it. Amazon return palettes to me are a lot more, uh, I don't know, like nerve wracking. Yeah. Uh, just because, uh, but be they so also sig cost significantly less than shelf pulls. Yeah. So All something right. to consider. So what's in there? Well, be careful when you film because it's got somebody's address on here. Okay, pull that off and I'll and, uh, show what's inside. So it's a, a box in a box. Well, it's a TV iCat design five piece till aqua printed pre wash quilted coverlet bed cover summer quilt blanket with cotton polyester filled embroidery oh pillow God. set queen <laughs> <laughs> look at it <laughs> did you get the, the address off yeah okay <laughs> my goodness yeah that's a mouthful <laughs> i hope it's in good condition because it sounds yeah. interesting whatever it is so it looks like the box has already been opened. Oh, okay. And it doesn't look like it has been taken out of the packages. It may have been. Yeah, it looks like it hasn't been folded perfectly. Yep. But, Let me get uh, a good picture of yeah. that front. Oh yeah, nice. That well, looks pretty. Queen. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah, definitely. See, we actually have some stuff. This stuff, we I pulled our last sets from the flea market booth. I'm gonna put them back up in the fall time. Uh, people just don't wanna buy blankets in the middle of the summer. It's like 90 degrees right now, so. What do we got? What do we got? 
Okay. Fifty-eight bucks. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking uh, thirty-five bucks, easy. Since if it was nicely packed and it doesn't look like it had ever been opened before, easily probably forty-five bucks. But since it's been open, it's kind of out there. Thirty-five bucks. Let's grab the whatever these guys are here. This one's fragile. Fra oh, fragile. Fragile. Let me yeah. grab. Let me grab it real quick. But I, it's a. Uh, it's locked in position. So, all right. Drink well. Pet fountain, which I wanted the last one that we unboxed, um, but we ended up having to sell it. So, um, yeah. Let's see. It's a uh, obviously return. Looks fine. Let's see. What is going on in here? It's nicely taped. It's like taped everywhere, y'all. But they shipped it in that box. So, do you see on this other side? Yeah, it's got, it has like shipping label yeah, cut so. off of it. So, yeah, but still, I'm just saying, like, I'm like, it's like super taped up. So, I'm sorry, it's taking forever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's used. Um, looks like it's been tried out. I, it's not it's not damaged i don't think there's um, a little scuff there yeah and then here's the water tank and f a little filter and there's water spotting in yeah. it but you know that's okay it's i mean as long as it works it's something we'll have to test out a little bit later yeah. make sure but if it works you know then we can easily sell this at the flea market booth it sells really it will sell really well there uh, let me see if i can find out there is i know i saw upc on it they cut it off no, it's on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, pet safe drink. Why are there two? Okay, that one. Because that one has replacement yep. filters. Okay, this one does not. So, uh, 4190. Alright, so it's 4190. It's been obviously used. So, we're going to have to knock the price down way low. So, I think we can sell this at our flea market booth for 15 bucks. What is this thing? Whatever, I know what it is. Whatever it is, there's a whole bunch of tags on it. So yeah. selling it with the case, the case is like all jacked up. Yeah. Is this a tripod? It's not. A, it's kind of like a tripod. Um. What is it for? That is a good question. <laughs> but it's a stand of some sort, and uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not in good shape. Yeah. Whatever it I think is. We I put mean, it in the corner. The flea market booth recoup five bucks for it you can we yeah or we can get creative and use it for something that we need it for i mean this yeah. is i mean having us this is sturdy it's yeah. damaged but it's sturdy yeah we so probably we'll, could fab a uh a tripod stuff on there yeah well i guess what we'll do is we'll tentatively call it five dollars if it doesn't it's gonna take a while to sell that's not gonna be something that's gonna fly off the shelf yeah so if we still have it when we need it then you know, we'll grab it, but if not, we'll just try and sell it for five bucks and just recoup our loss, our losses on it. Let me get this one. This feels like uh, pillows or something. Pillows, it looks fluffy. something like that. So I need to be careful when opening. It says, "Do not open with a sharp instrument." Yeah, I bet it is pillows. Yeah. I mean, it's even fluffing out like that, which also might mean that it's been open. It's very well been opened. And, yeah. You know, like sometimes people return stuff and they haven't even opened it, but this one. If it's that fluffed out, it's definitely not vacuum sealed. So it's a comforter set. Ooh, ooh, actually, that's kind of pretty. Yeah, it is kind of neat. Oh, that's pretty. Intellectual design, full queen size, and uh, that's gonna sell really well in the winter time, yeah. I'm sure. We'll have to look at it, and uh, it's got some pleating on it. That's yeah. what you're looking at, babe. I yeah. know you're looking to see if it was messed up, but that's pleating. Yeah, it's got a yeah. So. We will look at it. Let me see how much it's worth. Well, of course, it didn't bring up the exact one. Well, what are the similar ones selling for? Uh, none of these are similar. Wow. I couldn't find the exact one because I probably will once we have more time. But I found a similar one that's by the same company uh, and everything it's just a different pattern same coloration though uh, and it's selling for 59 bucks so i'm thinking for this one since it has been taken out we can get easy 30 bucks for it it's like a, it's like jenga y'all it's like yeah. trying to figure out what i can grab that's not going to make everything tumble over 
All right, so this is Stanley Fat Max. Jump started with a compressor. I don't know why you gotta call Max Fat. What's well, it's called. Um, as long as it's like, I'm just gonna open it up real quick. Look inside, there's, a, there's already a UPC right here. So it should be very simple to find out how much it costs. Y'all, this there there is a lot of tape on here, a lot of tape. All right, all right. First, first look. It's obviously been taken out of the box, but it looks in great condition. Still comes with all the paperwork. So this is something that I'm going to plug in, make sure that it turns on, uh, and if it does, then we'll sell it. I mean, this will this is going to hold its retail value very well. Yeah. Um. So let's find out how much this dude is worth. Girl. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, 6117. There it is right there. Super easy. Um, I don't know, babe, what do you think I can get for this? I'm thinking uh, a good 50 bucks. If we get 45 take home, I'd take that, but we'll yeah. list it for 50. 50 bucks? Sounds good to me. Working our way around, around the pallet. Uh, now we're getting the back side. That Another you, conspicuous, uh, that was for me? Yeah, that was you, sh you, sh you shouldn't have, that was... Okay, uh, what were you saying, back to business? <laughs> um, I don't know, your song got me all uh, distracted, but I don't know what it is, because the box is, there's nothing on it except for this little battery signal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. but it's not real heavy, so who knows what this could be. Dun, dun, dun! Do you want to suppose what it might be? No, I have no idea. Something long and with the battery. Ooh. It's like an electric weed eater, a cordless ah. grass, grass trimmer. Oh, wait, it's been and, used. Uh, for it sure. has been used for sure. Oh, yeah. So it's something that we are definitely going to have to test out. And uh, maybe there's some juice left in this sucker. Please don't. Why? Because it makes me really nervous when you try to try out electronics and you're not prepared. Oh, I'm ready. I'm prepared. Are you prepared? Oh, yeah! Ooh, yeah. Ooh. It works. It works. And it's ooh, even got ooh. some stuff left, so maybe they just didn't like how uh, how powerful it was. <laughs> so. Stop it. You're going to hurt yourself. You know I like playing with tools, so if you want to see me play with more tools, <laughs> Then watch us uh, August the 11th on Extreme Unboxing. We unboxed a tool palette. Uh, it's going to be on A&E at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time. So you're going to watch it and uh, see me play with some more tools. And you will also understand, and you'll also understand <laughs> why I don't like it when he plays with tools. Yeah. So uh, let's see how much this is worth, brand new, and uh, we'll get an idea. All right. So, uh, 80 bucks, brand new. All right, so I think this one, it's, uh, I, I think it's, since it's electric, uh, I think we can easily get 40 bucks for it, even with its used condition. So I'm gonna say 40 bucks. That's an easy guess of what it is. What could it be? I have no idea what this could be. Comment but, uh, below if y'all know what this is. But uh, looking inside, I'm trying to, I, I can kind of see it. It doesn't look damaged at all. Uh, maybe We've sold some of these letters before they've gone really quick for about 20 bucks on Facebook Which is probably yeah. I mean what we're gonna sell it for Regardless, but yeah looks fine uh, Doesn't look like there's any damage in there. It looks like all the I'm gonna go through before I list this I will go through each one like kind of check and inspect to make sure that all the pieces are there so that I can give an accurate description But for the most part like this is a, a, an easy 20 bucks and then this guy. Uh, Box is bulging. So it's probably something, and I'm looking, I see fabric, so that's probably what it is. Um, gotta pull this up real good so that we don't. Um, okay, so it's one of those uh, mattress, uh, oh, yeah. mattress toppers. Yeah. Um, I don't know what size it is, this is gonna, I don't know what size it is. I don't know what brand it is. And that's not the original box, is it? And that's it? not the original box it comes in. It smells fine. Doesn't smell like it's been used or washed or anything. Still smells new. Um, but I see nothing that indicates 
Um, I know these are, all right, so I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna look for any kind of logo, label, anything like that. If I do not find it, then I'm gonna measure it and find out what size it is, and I'm gonna compare it to other like items um, and try to hit somewhere around the lowest valued item um, and, then, and then take a few dollars off for use. But if I had to guess, $15 maybe uh, locally. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating. That's But you get that with returns. Hey, you know what? One more item and we're about halfway through. Yes. And this is, I'm gonna go ahead and get the item that the reason why we, one of the reasons why we got this palette was because of these Polk speakers. We got some on an Amazon shelf pull palette, I don't know, six weeks ago. And they're like 90 bucks, give or take $10, somewhere around in there. So I knew that 80 bucks in perfect condition. And uh, so that's why we took that risk. By looking at them, get a little fuzzies from the, the cardboard box, but it's like it maybe a little bit used, got a little scuff there. So have maybe to, when they pulled it out. Yeah. But have to test these to see perfect working condition. Uh, I've got a little receiver I can hook these up to, so it won't take too long to test it. Let's look to see what they're currently priced for. All right, so there we go right there. So a pair is a hundred bucks. So, so I was right, so I remember correctly. So hundred bucks, if they're good used, they're working properly, got a couple scuffs. I think we can easily get these for 60 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so we are about halfway done with the palette, give or take a few boxes, and we just did the math. Keep in mind, we paid $425 for this palette after expenses and everything, and our goal is to double, so we're shooting for $850. Well, when we did the math, we're at $310 so far, uh, which is, we're tracking below our goal. We're really gonna need to get a couple of items the rest of this palette in order to get our 825 bucks. If not, then we may be having some problems doubling our money. Anyway, so here's another one. It's bulging, so I'm pretty sure it's probably fabric or something. Uh, it's brown. <laughs> I don't know what else to say because there is nothing. Bath um, rug. Um, no. No, some kind of canvasy material or. Oh, what in the world oh, is this? Oh, it's a car cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a cover for car. We've had these. We've we've received stuff like this before. You can tell it's also got the straps on it. Uh, it's been used because there is grass on it. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, but it's which one is this uh, is for? Stuff cover. I don't know. Like, is it all the same size or is it like different no. sizes? Okay, this is a patio cover. Sweet, ultimate patio covers. Sweet, ultimate, because ultimate is better than just regular patio yeah, covers. It's better than ultimate. <laughs> what? I don't know, dude. You said I'm a jokester behind the camera, so I thought I would, you know. <laughs> All right, so, uh, but the thing is, is I don't know how big it is, and I don't, okay, here we go. Woohoo! We have a sheet? We have a sheet. Oh, that's the sheet I was gonna tell them about earlier. Do you wanna tell them about that sheet? <laughs> you can tell them about the sheet while I look it up. So this sheet here, right so it's a life saver uh when you get items in a box like this one where it's just an amazon shipping box you have no idea what it belongs to what the brand is but this sheet right here you see right there it has the whole deal for you it saved me many hours why are you laughing at me <laughs> yes you are so this one is i don't know exactly how much it costs yet hold on it's 127 inch uh, rectangular oval patio set and chair set cover, cover only, 127 inch. That looks like the right color. Buying option, so it's 88.33 awesome. plus free shipping. So um, considering it's used and all that, I think that we could put this maybe at the flea market. We'd probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, it'd probably be the best place. And we'd probably get $40 for it. So earlier I got this box and uh, it fell. And uh, we forgot all about it. So <laughs> it's the putting green. 
Way to go, Joe. I know. It's okay, I forgot about it too, so. Yeah. We just, you know, sometimes we just get so excited about it and we yeah. just don't think all the way through. And that's why it's always good to, this is kind of like the initial screening for us, but every time we list something or bring it to the flea market booth, we actually go through and do the tedious work of really inspecting um, everything and all of that. So, but anything you guys notice that you can tell us, you know, uh, that'd be great. It, it would be definitely very helpful. Yeah, so I'm seeing the golf green. It doesn't look to be used or anything. That so, looks nice. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. The other side, and every like so, the, the the golf ball and the putting tees and stuff yeah. it's all still so, so that's nice that's nice we could sell this like new open box all righty so what is this worth what is this worth what is this worth is there a upc code no. I am seeing several that look just like it. Um, you got this one here, different brand, that the same, the same pattern you can see here and there looks the exact same. So that's 66 bucks. Uh, so I'm thinking an easy $45 for this one. I'm gonna grab a couple things. Grab this small guy here and this guy here. This looks like an Amazon Basics if I had to guess. Just, I can just tell by the tag, yeah. but let me double check. It's not, it's different. I was wrong. But it looks to be sealed still in how they uh, they wrapped it because it'd be hard to get it wrapped like that. Yeah, and it looks like it's, it's pretty good. Um, so I don't know what size this is. Let me see if it says, um, it is an Amazon Basics. I actually oh, do you were right. win. This is a king size blanket. Um, I'm guessing 10 bucks out of flea market just because it doesn't have any, yeah. it doesn't have anything else to it except for this. So that's an easy, easy 10 bucks, especially when it starts getting colder. People are going to love discount blankets. So bark, like a, maybe a dog mattress. Cause it's, it talks about sweet dreams are made of the yeah. essential mattress. So, uh, a medium size I don't know I guess they I, I guess they do make dog mattresses Ooh. interesting uh, yeah. yeah dog mattress of some sort well pet stuff sells well it does and it doesn't look I don't know that it's been opened yeah it looks like to be sealed still because if they opened it it would all be squished out of the vacuum seal and uh, it definitely wouldn't be fitting in this box the yeah. way it is. Yeah, so like, you know, maybe it was the wrong size. Maybe they looked at it and they're like, oh no, that's not gonna work. All right, so it's a size medium, it's gray, $31 bed, or $31 bed. So we could probably get, I don't know, like $20 yeah. for that? I think 20 bucks, take it out of the box, put it on the uh, nice little display shelf at the flea market. For sure, yep. yeah. You ready? Yep. So this is the other item that I've seen. I saw it uh, on the pallet at Southern Liquidation, and uh, I'm like, it's a tool, a toolbox. I don't know if it's metal. It'd be better if it's metal. Those have a higher resale value than the plastic ones. But picking up the weight, it feels like it is plastic. Actually, it's metal, and it is very damaged. Oh, yeah. Snap. So you see here. Oh yeah. Big old dent. Big old dent. Yeah. So it may be able to be bent out and then use it for like personal stuff. Um, I'm sure you can do that. And uh, so I may try and do that because I'm always needing some more organization with this. But for resale value, it's our first zero of the day. Um, so zero bucks. I kind of been shake it. I, just I heard moved something it over. I don't. I heard it too. Maybe not. Does it sound shattered? It sounds shattered. I'm actually kind of scared. It is deaf. It has to be. Listen. You hear that? There's yeah. no way this thing has been shipped. And they shipped it in this box. I mean, granted, it was returned. Uh, in that box so if it wasn't damaged when it went to the customer 
it scared. got damaged on the way back. I just hope that the rest of this box holds up when I open it and it doesn't just like spew broken glass. Every this does not bode well. What is it? Oh, the little glass tiles that are all loose. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Tell them what we won, Jessica. I mean, I can we do anything with this? Mm, I don't even know. I mean, we could donate it. Like, you know, yeah. people with like, who do murals, art projects, yeah. stuff like that. We could definitely. That's a great idea. I think it's a donation. Yeah, we'll donate it, but we can't sell it, so. We love baby stuff. Yeah. This was the other item that we I saw on the pallet. And I'm like, this is a baby item. It will sell quick. It'll be easily 40 to 60 bucks. Yep. Looking at it, it looks like it hasn't been put together. And uh, maybe they got it for a baby shower. They got too many. They sent it back, but it's looking good. So let's find out how much it's worth. And then we can figure out exactly how much we're going to sell it for. All right. That's awesome. So a hundred dollar. Nice. So nice. I'm thinking an easy, uh, we'll, we'll price it for 75 and I'm sure we'll get 75 bucks. No, we'll price it for 75 and we'll get at least 70 for sure. So that's a dog crate. Yeah. It's a soft one, navy blue. Get this, cause I think I'm gonna destroy this UPC code trying to open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan it and then I'll see. Cause it's already hard to scan. I may not even scan already. That's it right there. Um, there's only one left. Side, but it's an eight. No, 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 let me make sure it's the right size. Because this one's small. All right, 24 inch. So it's uh, how much? 24, 24 inch? Yeah. So yeah, that's not it. It's this one. All right. Still, that's a gray one. So 64.99. Is that what it said? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Awesome. $64.99. That's not bad. I would say probably 50 for this. I think so too. Um, but I'm just gonna like do a quick peek in here because it's really important that you do that. I mean, when I list it, I'm gonna pull it out and really look at it. Okay, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, for all in, for right now, like this, this basic, I don't wanna pull it all the way out because it's, I mean, it looks great. I mean, I'm gonna pull, I'll pull it out and double check. But uh, if this is what, if this is right, we'll sell it on Facebook Marketplace for fifty dollars. Oh, it's a glass handle with care. And it was upside down when and you pulled it off. It was upside down, and it said this end up. So, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's pretty. Yep. Oh yeah, very pretty. And we know that when we open this up and want to price it. There's an EPC right there. Ooh. Well, so far so good. Yeah. Ooh, there's some loose pieces and in there And some though. broken pieces too. A couple broken pieces you got right there. It shouldn't be um, there. Should be all the way like this, and then right here, broken. That's so, unfortunate. This is something that may be able to be sold, but at a lot lower cost to somebody who's on a budget and can get some glass pieces made to put in there themselves. Right now, we're going to call it a zero because the likelihood of finding somebody. Right, and we don't really have the time to spend trying to find that right buyer. So I just looked up the price on it and that's at a $200 light. So this changes things a little bit for us because if we can get those two panels replaced, like reach out to the manufacturer, see if we can't get replacement glass panels for it, or even see about getting all new glass things, that's something that we could easily get like 140 bucks for. So for that much, it may be worth it to us to spend the extra time to go ahead and get that money. So I think right now we're still gonna keep it at zero because I don't know if we can get the glass panels. It'll be a project for later on. But if we, if you buy the pallet by yourself, one person, it would be easy, 150 bucks for you.
Okay, this one right here I saw on the palette and it was actually kind of a deterrent for me. It's an automatic trash can. Um, and what really got me was that, you know, these things are so easily dented. Woo! These things are so easily dented um, and, and all that. And I saw a big dent in the box to begin with and it's upside down. So I was like, the chances of this thing being perfect is going to be very, very unlikely. Um, so it was, it was a deterrent for us um, and, and, so, and a concern for me. But we're gonna go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like inside. Uh, see what's going on in here. And wow, wait, hold on. Don't you love it when life proves you just like completely <laughs> you look like a complete idiot? Uh, yeah. I was, I honestly had full expectations that this thing was going to be broken. Yep. Um, ha ha! It is broken! Yeah. Just did not, you just do that? No, I didn't just do that. Uh, it just wasn't broken in the way I expected. <laughs> um, it's, it's been, been used. used. I, yeah. I mean, it's pretty clean on the inside having been a trash can. But this is like, this hasn't just been used once. Like this is like scrape, like there's some yeah. scratches on it. Like it's been like steadily. And this is supposed to go in like that and stay fastened. And it's not, it's like the, 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 the yeah, the fasteners on each side that hold yeah. this on. It's, so this is actually broken. Um, however, it would not be hard to, you know, if we ended up having like a garage sale or something like that, we could easily sell just the base or something. Yeah, I think um, so. It's a, it's a decent rounded bag uh, holder, you know, so we could get five bucks for it. So we have another toilet seat and uh, most of these toilet seats that we've been getting, we've got several in other pallets. We've been putting the flea market booth for 10 bucks. Uh, and I think that's priced too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and say $5 for this toilet seat. This looks kind of cool. It's gonna be some decent money if it's not broken. Nice. Is that a composter? Yeah. That's cool. I hope it looks good. So it's looking like it's got all the pieces there. It doesn't look like to it's ever been used before. You got the lid, four sides, the four little things. So all there. So cool. it's looking pretty good. So all right, fifty what fifty eight dollars, fifty seven dollars. Yep. Something in a good 40 bucks, Facebook Marketplace. Nice, and that'll sell quick yeah. in this at this time because people are gonna be wanting to collect compost for the following spring. This says case pack. I don't know what it's a case pack for. It says fragile. I'm looking for a UPC, but I do not see one. So, there's only one way to find out what's in this guy. Is that a baby game? <laughs> <laughs> that is a baby gate. I think it's a baby gate. <laughs> it is a safety gate. <laughs> How do you open this bag? Okay. It is a pet barrier. Yep, it's a gate. <laughs> so, and it's plastic and it's used. It's dirty. Uh, you can just see some. I mean, it's not too dirty to be cleaned. It's yeah. absolutely very easily be cleaned. It's plastic. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can probably get maybe $5 for this at the flea market. Yeah. And that's what we'll sell it for. It's super simple. Can't imagine it being any more than that. So, so we got a highly damaged box. Um, Jason, well, something foldable, something foldable, something. All right. Sorry guys, that's all we're going home. It ranges in prices anywhere from 30 bucks on up to $70, depending on the size. So if we do try to sell it and it's a low end, maybe 15 bucks, uh, that's what we're gonna call it for profit purposes. Uh, but this is something that we'll probably keep for Desi and the kids. I don't know what either of them are. This one says medical cane, hip replacement set. That's. <laughs> Sweet. So we can replace. I need a new hip. Uh, I don't know if I need a new hip. 
Uh, it's a grabber reacher. <laughs> It would have been funny if that was the Grim, I guess that's the Grim Reaper, not the Grim Reacher. <laughs> it's the Grim Reacher! <laughs> oh. Whoa. Well, medical supplies sell really well. It doesn't look like any of this stuff's been opened. Yeah. Oh, it's Reacher stuff. It's oh, a sponge. I got you. That's... Uh, I just don't know what you that has your, to do with the hip replacement. You, well, you got to exercise it. Um, you put like your. Oh, okay. Your, you put, you know. I'm following you now. I'm thinking like a bat set because it's got the long sponge. I don't know. It's got a shoehorn, button hook, bat sponge. I guess it's to reach. Yeah. Because you can't bend down that far, I guess. That I makes sense. I'm, I mean, I'm sure somebody knows uh, about that. I could ask my grandmother too. She's had one she, a hip. Um, Thirty dollars. So we can sell this for maybe ten, fifteen dollars yeah. at the market booth. Simple yeah. and easy. There's this guy here. What is this? What is it? Oh, it's a rotating makeup organizer. Oh. Uh, I'm assuming, I don't see a UPC on here or nothing that tells me exactly what brand it is. Um, I could open it up and look in here, but really, I mean, 10 bucks at a flea market booth, unless this is like really high quality, uh, which I don't think it is, but I mean like, you know. 10 bucks? 10 bucks. All right. It's a big box, but it is light. All right. Could be a good thing or a bad thing. And, uh, I don't know what all that residue is. Oh, it's like an oily something on this tape. Woo! Oh, what is that? It's a self-cleaning litter box. Uh, and it's been used? No, it's all new. But then why is it residue-y? No, it's been used. Ooh. I think it's been used. I don't think it's been used. I'm not sure if that black, maybe just the dust from the stuff. Um, it, it has. Yep, yeah, it's been used. You can, I, just I smell, smell it. it. It has a nice odor to it. Um, a nice like it odor. smells like, it doesn't, it's not like an awful smell, but it definitely smells like it's been, had cat litter in it and then somebody cleaned it. Yeah. Like they, that they like, you know, they didn't just put like the, all the stuff in there, they did definitely like wash it out, clean it out. So it smells a little bit like cat litter. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, they retail for like 75 bucks, brand new. This one, we'd have to test to see if it works. I don't even know how do you test a litter box. I know it can be done. You, you not use being it lazy. And see what happens. Uh, use it, see what happens. We've got cat litter. We could put it in there. I could scrape it with my paw. Stop. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I just don't want to be lazy, you know, uh, and not go through the motions. But for right now, this is a project that we really don't have time for. Uh, so I'm going to count it as zero dollars uh, because I just don't know if I'll ever get to it. And maybe one of those things where we just give it away. This is heavy. This one is heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. <sighs> If that's not broken, that could be a decent little uh, quick score. Yeah, it looks like there's one corner right there where it got damaged. It's a pretty color. Yeah, but on that side. Everything looks great, almost yeah. looks good. Doesn't look like it's really missing any pieces. Doesn't even look like it's been, it, it looks like it's actually been uh, assembled before. Yeah. Sell it put together. Uh, just for the sake of being able to inspect it and at the same time making sure it has all its pieces. $41.99. Uh, so assuming that there are no missing pieces and assuming that it is in the condition that it that we looked at, which is like new with just minor cosmetic damage, we should be able to get $30 for this, if not $25 at the least. And then I got this small guy. It looks like a pet thing, whatever it is. Some kind of pet thing. You can see there, make it easy to look up the price. Yeah, I just want to check the condition before I do. Oh, oh 
of whatever. We like to grade it, then price it. Oh, okay, so. Has it been used? <laughs> It has? Are you serious? Oh. It's been used? No. I'm not touching it. Yeah. I'm gonna go wash my hands. You do that. Maybe you should put it in the box first before washing hands. That sucks, y'all. Um, I smell it from here. It definitely has, uh, it definitely has been urinated on. That's, this that stinks real bad. Literally. Why? Why would somebody do that? <laughs> this actually reminds me of a time uh, on Extreme Unboxing when we were filming. Oh yeah! And we bought a whole bunch of uh, what was it? Uh, Porta potties, camper like potties, potties. Yep. And we were like, oh, these are gonna sell amazing. And then we yeah. never really thought about the fact that they could possibly. Yeah, be we used. got like forty of them in, and there's like five that have been used. <laughs> uh, and was, I just had to know. Uh, you got to watch the show to find out. Uh, I'm not sure when it will air, uh, but it'll air. Uh, I'm told it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's what is it? Nova. It sounds like maybe, I think it's a sleep something, right? No, it's, uh, it's medical stuff. It's like one of those chairs that uh, people use, like older people. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's kind of thankfully, like- Thankfully, this has not been used. Yeah, uh, so it's like a walker, yeah. but also walker. like a potty. Exactly. And it doesn't look like to ever be been put together. There may be some scratches from it being loose in the box like this. Uh, but all in all, it looks good. We should be able to sell it. I just don't know how because we can't sell something like this on Facebook. What's going on? Tell so, us about it. It's a different color, oh, but that's nice. the chair. That's the chair. <gasps> nice. 231 bucks. So that changes things somewhat for shipping because I was just thinking in my head, $100 item. Yeah. But this, it obviously we'd have to get a different box for it. But if we can ship it, it costs probably 40 bucks to ship that. Yeah. So if we sell it for 200, and make 120 bucks that's a good a good thing but we're gonna try and sell it locally somehow first maybe put it in our Facebook group I don't know uh, but local first because we can easily get 180 bucks for it locally if we can navigate the Facebook selling loopholes uh, but if not online $120 profit okay everybody so that's it that's a wrap Yep, we uh, we just did the math and we are at seven seventy five. Yep, conservatively. Uh, keep in mind when we do this, like some of the stuff will sell for less, some will sell for more. Um, it, sometimes we do more research and we find out that it sells for more than we thought it was going to sell for. And sometimes it just depends on the market trends. You know, yep. what, what, while we're filming now, what we can sell it for now is maybe not what we can sell it for in a couple of weeks. Right. So I think it's uh, you know if. We paid 350 bucks for it, so if we didn't have any expenses, like if we just went to go pick this up, put it in our car, drive 20, 30 minutes, we didn't have to worry about, you know, the, the gas, the driving, the the lunch, we would have been doing good, but we have expenses in there, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a little disheartening. Like, we've had Amazon return pallets before, uh, and this one's different. Yeah. New liquidator, first pallet. We have two more pallets to unbox from this liquidator after this. After those, we'll have a good idea. Yes, for sure. Uh, one thing I do want to say is like, I found it very surprising that, you know, uh, not one of these items with an exception of the very last item that we unbox, really, uh, we can't move online, you for, know? For much profit. Yeah, for much profit. Uh, so, it, you know, for us to be able to really profit from this, we're really thankful for having local ways to move products because yeah. that is key here in a pallet like this one. A lot of low dollar items we didn't find normally. We have like two or three items. Granted, we had the last item that was really expensive, but usually there's at least three items that we can sell for $150 mm -hmm. or more that really help drive our profit margins. And we didn't experience that with this palette. 
So we hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you have any questions, feel free to comment those down yep. below. And if you are really interested in, in learning about liquidation and if that is a right side hustle for you, uh, be sure to check us. We do go on, we go live um, at least once a week. Yep. Uh, so just be checking and keeping an eye for when we schedule those. Um, we do answer your questions and we do have conversation about what liquidation actually looks like. We do want to give you an honest yep. representation of and what that is. And check out our vlogs too, because our vlogs, we go through a lot of the items that we sell mm -hmm. uh, that we don't cover here in unboxings. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.